check out that view. Beautiful, beautiful building. Oh my gosh. Ah! Wow. That is so beautiful. Yeah, fish up. Go. Go, go. Yes. Woo! Side fishing grayling. As you can see, we're on the road again with Haley. We're actually heading into the mountains this time. Pretty scenery, not a bad drive. And I'm just uh, editing the next video while Haley's behind the wheels. We also have uh, Zuzu behind us, just uh, right behind me, sitting on the ground. And she's just being a good little girl. Seven hours later. We can finally see the mountains in the distance. It's good to be back. I also brought my uh, fly fishing rod, so hopefully uh, we can catch some fish as well. Yeah, I'm excited. Something unique about this landscape in this area is that it just goes straight from Paris to uh, the mountains landscape. In other areas such as uh, Jasper and Banff, there is also foothills before the mountains and then Paris. We've uh, arrived at our campsite, the Subaru Elbag did wonderfully smooth ride all the way and yeah we just uh, kind of unloaded some of the non food items into the tent and yeah here's our site we're actually staying at uh, Cricket Creek campsite it's just uh, five minutes outside of uh, the Waterton Lakes National Park yeah so we're just gonna be staying here for a few days there is uh, Zuzu she got herself trapped but yeah we're gonna go to the park right away all right, in the town site, quick stop at the info center, get my fishing license. Info center. All right, we've made it to the Waterton Lake. Check out that view. The water is crystal clear. It looks pretty shallow, so I might have to walk out to fish. We'll see. Ideally, I wanted to get to that pinch point. Just a simple supper tonight. Some hot dogs and some chunky soup. And above us is the Prince of Wales Hotel. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful building. Yeah. And we're just right below it, cooking some hot dogs. There's a little kitty. Another water and food. Water is pretty chilly. So clear the water. Hello. All right, we just finished supper. Okay, I decided to come to this point. Try my luck here. Looks good. Beautiful little point.
Went out fished here for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Nothing yet, but uh, we still have a lot of other things that we want to explore. So, um, yeah. We're just gonna leave for now. Maybe try again later. There's a little squirrel up there. Oh. And Zuzu definitely says he's it. I don't know if it sees Zuzu. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Zuzu! No. No, Zuzu. Oh, he's right there. He is not a scared little guy. He's playing with her. There he is. Susie, where is he? She wants to get him so bad. <laughs> where did he go? Little guy. We gotta let him get away, Zuzu. No, we gotta let him get away. There's a black bear spotted. We're just gonna drive by it. Is it here still? Oh. Right there. Oh. Two, two, three times. Wow. Whoa. He's just a crazy. baby. Is he eating something? Or just picking berries? Eating? He's like rolling a little bit. He's eating berries. He's eating the bit white berries. Can't really see him. He's eating the berries. He's having a good meal. Oh, there. He's moved the branch out of his. All right, we'll leave him be, eh? Mm-hmm. He's just enjoying his nap. All right, we'll leave him be, just a... Cute little bear. Baby. Little pit stop at a viewpoint. Check this view out. That is gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Wow. The mountains. And then there's a glassy lake reflecting the mountains. John George. Some bisons. Two little ones fighting. Okay. Oh, big one running. Oh, do you see that, Haley? The big one was like chasing the small ones. Now we are inside of the bison paddock where we just saw some outside the fence, but except now we're driving inside the fence. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a nice uh, little circle loop that they made. Beautiful. Just the road ahead like that. It's a circle loop. There they are in the distance. And one more look at the mountains. Woo! Gorgeous. Early the next morning. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, about 5:30. Just to keep on trying to get out of the tent, so perfect opportunity to get going and uh, start fishing early. We're gonna try the same spot as last night. 
All right, back out here. Not the most pleasant of mornings, a little bit windy, but we out here. Let's try to get it done. Hopefully we'll catch a laker this morning. I got bear spray in my pocket and I'm the only one here. Haley's back at the car. Sorry about that terrible wind noise. Look at the mountains. The sun, it's just uh, starting to hit the mountainside. Beautiful. Look at the rocks. It's like golden. Sunrise on the horizon. Well, one last look at the mountains. My gut tells me that the fish is not here, so I think I'm gonna switch spots. But by the way, Princess Wales Hotel is right up above me there. Beautiful. All right, we're on our way to Belly River, but uh, I had to stop here. Look at the view. So you can see it's the prairies to the right. And then as soon as you hit the mountains, boom, all of a sudden there's mountains. No foothill, no nothing, just mountains and then prairies. Alright. Let's go, go down to the river for a bit here. Uh, I have to do some wading. Yeah, Belly River. Found a little nice easy access here. So I'll cast a little bit here for now and uh, I might have to pull my waders on for later. Got my bear spray there, net, fly rod. These uh, fishing sandals came in handy now. Right now it's dry fly season because all the nymphs have uh, mostly hatched. That's what I'm doing. it out get a good drift going so what dry fly means is flies that float on top and uh, wet flies are the ones that sink I think I want to be over there that looks really better Ooh, the current is even really shallow it's kind of strong oh yeah I like this Back to put my waders on. Now I feel invincible. Now it's a lot easier to bushwhack. A lot of little thorns and stuff. Definitely gonna get a sunburn today. It's so beautiful here. Oh, I wonder if you guys saw something. I thought I saw a flash. Oh, huge beaver. Wow. Massive beaver just came out of the riverbank. Things you see, eh? When you're out in nature. up to a different spot here let's do some bushwalking Ooh, I just saw a fish jump okay let's try here a bit I'm gonna go upstream a bit so I can drift the dry fly down seems promising okay, 
Maybe stealthy now. I just had a bite. I just had a bite. Didn't try to hop down. I got one. I got one, guys. I got one. Yep. Keep it pinned. Yep. Okay, come on. And. Okay, we'll get you next. Yes, Greeling! Greeling! Got an Arctic Greeling. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. Holy crap. Holy crap, I did it. Arctic grayling. Arctic grayling, guys. I did it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, Ark. I got like five bites and I finally hooked up. It's hard to get a photo with by myself. He's way back. Check him out. I did it, guys. Arctic grayling. This is new species for me. Perfect hook set on a dry fly. That is so, so rewarding and satisfying. That's awesome. That is awesome. I did it. <laughs> I hiked a uh, long ways to get to this uh, deeper pool of water and uh, I got it done. That's so awesome. I'm standing on top of a, a beaver dam, pretty big deep hole, and I see fish bust over here. There's no cell signal, so I can't really call Haley. Wish we had walkie-talkies, but but uh, check this guy out. It's Arctic grayling. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors. Look at the fins. They're like blue. Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. Hey, I just uh, set it down. My camera down. Video. Epic Arctic grayling. Look at this fish, so beautiful! So beautiful! Wow, that's like one of the most beautiful fish ever. Okay, let me show off this fish one more time and let him go. Put him right back in the water, and I'm back. There he goes. Beautiful. Such a beautiful trout. That's awesome. Let's go. Let's catch another one. So amazing. I did it. And this view? Inside of this view? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's catch one. On camera. Unfortunately, my fly is a little bit wet now. Just let it 
drift. They're here. Second one. Gotta die all the guys. Let's not speak too early. Second one guys. We got a diode. We have is smaller than the smaller than the first one. Ah, oh, we'll have them go right away. We don't need a picture with this one. That was my first one ever, the first one. Now we have it dialed. That's awesome. Second one. Bailey River. Nice. Barbless hook, so it should come out really easily. Alright, second fish. Second Arctic grilling. Beautiful fish. I like to chill out. Oh, where did he go? I lost him already. Boy, was he fast. Sick. That's sick. Catch a bigger one. Alright, sick. So sick. Woohoo! It's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be alive. No wind. What well, little wind. And catching fish in the mountains. Check out the view. Oh, freaking believable. I'm loving this. Oh, freaking believable. Let me go get Haley. I should probably put a hat or something on, anyways. Get some water. <laughs> I haven't drank water in this 30 degree heat for a while. That's gas though. One more cast. This is thick team. I got a good, good feeling about that one. Oh, they're feeding over there. Okay, maybe one more cast. One more cast. Yes, that's a better cast. I need some sunscreen. I'm gonna get so burned. Oh, this big one over there. Okay, I'm gonna go get Haley and come back. One eternity later. We're back. Now we got Haley and Zuzu with us. It has changed a little bit. So I'm going to try to cross the river. Oh. Oh, low water went into my wheels. Gosh, that was kind of good. There's a big steep drop off right there that I do not want to fall into. So I'm gonna get right up here. Holy, fly fishing is like hiking on st steroids. Kind of like hunting almost. Okay. All right, we're on the other side. Now we're in the strike form. The wind changed a little bit, so I couldn't uh, really cast far anymore. I think this is the spot. This is the juice. Yes, this is the juice. Oh my god, I can see them. I can see them from here. 
Hey, I can see them. Just two small ones. Sight fishing right there. Oh my god, I'm gonna catch one. Yeah, for sure. Go, go, go. Yes, I knew it. Okay, now how do I land them? Should I eat it? Side fishing, really? Yes! Woo! Side fishing, grayling. Oh my god, I did it. This might be the bigger, biggest one yet. Holy. Drop, drop me. Oh. There you go, little buddy. Did it. I knew one. If I go over there, I would have catch one. And I was right. I was right. Oh. Okay. We got a little wet there. That's awesome. Look at him. What a beautiful little grayling. Look at the color. Beautiful. Awesome, we finally got uh, Arctic grilling uh, checked off the list. That's awesome, and look at the view behind us. That's amazing. And the water is crystal clear, and there's more too. And better yet, I uh, caught this one um, side fishing on a fly with my fly rod. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, well, definitely check that off the bucket list. But anyways, let's uh, let's catch more. All right, I'm just gonna fillet uh, the grayling. It's a very easy process with trout and uh, grayling, salmon, whatever. All you do is, uh, okay, you just poke through the bottom of their jaw here. So it's kind of like this, you kind of have a grip. And then what you do is go up there from their anal, go up the belly. And then uh, what you do is you just grab this, grab a hold of this, and uh, pull everything out. And all their guts and everything comes right out. And yeah, now you're now you're just left with uh, fish with no gas and then you see this uh, red line it's not actually their bloodline it's their kidney so what you do is run your thumb over it we gotta do this quick because uh, there's bears around here but yeah basically you just rinse this out nicely and yeah there you go took like what 30 seconds that's why I love trout so much they're super easy to clean there we go one trout thing
just taking a bath. Met it, met it. Got one. <laughs> okay, brook trout. And then there's a grizzly down there. Let's go. 